Hey you guys, this is this week's episode of Little Pug Games and this week we'll go over how to add a particle system to our machine gun and make it look like a muzzle flash. Once we're done you'll be able to create things like mission for a rocket, things like that. So let's get started. We have this scene right now and this is what it looks like. We have the recoil effect and the sound effect last episode. So this episode we'll just add a muzzle flash right here and we'll make it uh, using the particle system. So first things first, we'll go into the muzzle and we're gonna add the particle system. And right now this is what it looks like and we need to change this shape so that it's directed in the way a muzzle flash would. So if we go over to shape, we can see the way it's orientated and we're gonna move it, we're gonna rotate this particle system 90 degrees on the Y axis. So if you see it in motion, you can see it turn towards the enemy. So I'll just move it now to 90. Next, we're gonna move these, uh, the radius of the particle system a little narrower. And that looks okay. So I'm gonna leave it as is. The next thing we want to do is go in here into the render and we're gonna change the material into just Sprite default. And this will allow us to change the color. And for this episode, I'm just gonna keep them, uh, keep the particles in this block shape. Oh, I'm gonna set, so let's start. We're gonna start here in the muzzle. Um, basically, these are values of all the particles and uh, we'll start changing them here. So first things first, we want to change looping to off. We don't want this to loop and Next thing, we will change the start lifetime to just three seconds. Let's do three seconds. Start speed, we want it to be an interval or basically constant between two values. We'll say one and 10. start so if we play it now we'll see some go far we'll see some go close so there you go um, next thing start color we want the start color to be between two colors so red and orange ish color There is no gravity modifier, so we'll leave that as is. Next, we'll go into the emission. We'll close this muzzle off. And we've changed the radius and the angle. And we've basically gotten it to what we want it to look like. Uh, one, yeah, here it is. Okay, we'll go here to emission. And we're going to change this rate over time to zero. We're gonna add a burst and that'll be that. So what this does, it'll it'll play a burst in intervals. And since looping is off, it'll only play one burst. So if we if we restart this rather, boom. Ooh, sorry you guys, one other thing I need to do is change the start size. So I want to change the start size between two constants. So I'll do 0 0.05 and 0.2 uh, and then 0 0.3. 0 0.3, I'll do 0 0.3. And I'll do 0.1. <laughs> that looks cool. All right. So the next thing is changing. So we have the shape how we want it to look. We have the mission how we want it to look. Um, the last thing we need to do is 
change the size over lifetime. We're going to toggle it on and open it. We're going to turn on the, this is like an animation curve. And we're going to open up the inspector. So you do that, you do this by going up here and you'll go up to open editor and it'll create this particle effect tab. Uh, I'm trying to, okay, there you go. So what we want it to do is have the particle be at full size, but as time goes on, we want it to shrink down so that it ends up disappearing. So if we start it up now, we'll see that the shape of the particles will grow smaller as time goes on. So see that? That looks, that looks all right. So one thing we'll do is duration. Okay, we'll change duration to two seconds. Wait. Okay, let's move it like so. Restart. All right, that looks that looks okay. Um, okay, that works for me. So I'm gonna leave it as is. And so this particle system is attached to our muzzle. We want to grab that particle system in our machine gun script. So we're going to open up the machine gun script and we are going to say public particle system muzzle flash. And we'll save. We'll go back to Unity. We'll save it here as well and we'll see it pop up right here. We're going to go into muzzle and add that to the machine gun script. Now let's go back and let's just create a private function and we'll just call it emit muzzle flash. And we're going to call our muzzle flash, which is our particle system. We're going to say emit, and it'll give us a parameter, and that parameter is the amount of particles we want to emit, and we'll do 30 particles. We're going to go here into our fire uh, if statement, and so when we fire, we want to call this emit muzzle flash function. So right here, we will say emit muzzle flash. And we'll go back. And if everything worked out all right, it should work out. We'll see right now. So if you guys notice that at the beginning, it started off by, by emitting some of the particles. So if we go back to the particle system. We want to toggle this play on a weight to off. And we'll also change this. I'm just gonna shorten down the duration a little bit because they seem to overlap a lot. That does it for this week's episode, and today we learned how to use the particle system and how to create a muzzle flash effect for our weapon. You can use the same concepts we learned and mess around with the particle system here yourself, and you can do a lot of things with the particle system. So we'll keep coming back to the future and learning more about it and what you can do with it. For the next episodes what I have planned out is creating a series on random dungeon generation so you, you you see this used a lot in a ton of games Spelunky nuclear throne uses 
uh, random dungeon generation and it's just something that I find pretty interesting. We'll go over a couple algorithms and methods on how to create random dungeons. And the other thing I also have planned out is creating a series on just game dev ideas. So theory and my ideas on what works and what doesn't. And yeah, that's what I have in plan for the future. I hope you guys learned something cool. And I appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a great day and bye.